and yeah. I always characterize the NIH, the CDC, and the FDA are the kind of like the crown jewels that we have in, in our, our you know, uh, medical uh, research yeah, efforts. This, the NIH is absolutely critical. Oh, These people, they're, they're incredibly hardworking, mm -hmm. they're incredibly smart, mm -hmm. but the road to go from our school grants for research to uh, making new discoveries is a five or ten year road and all the people in the lab here are making enormous yeah. sacrifices to keep yeah. the United States at the top of biomedical right. research. Right. And there's got to be some stability in that. They've got to understand that they're going to be able to get the kinds of research dollars and the grants that are necessary in order to continue this. Yes. Uh, when they see yeah. funding levels drop, drop they pull risk. out of the whole process That's right. That's because right. You know, they have to feel like they something's uh, happening for their life. And very, and very simply, this translates to I, I always view with this. It's, it's the ability to. Uh, uh, it's really the gift of life. We can save lives, and that's what the, what folks were involved in, and that's, m more than just resources. It's what is essential in terms of the values of this country. There has been great collaboration yes. between, you know, the, the federal government and. At universities and, and there's doing this, this, you know, there's and Yale excels in getting these uh, <laughs> these grants, and that's not this, because of me; it's because of all of you. There's this <laughs> what you do. translation; it's called this gulf yeah. between yeah. discovery and yeah. academia and drug development, development right. in industry. Yeah. This translation, the bridge between them two, is always difficult. It mm -hmm. requires effort, mm -hmm. and at, if funding pulls back, if the economy makes commercial mm -hmm. interests difficult. And if the government pulls back funding, that gulf becomes right. wider, wider. Yeah. and we don't take discoveries right. into yeah. effective yeah. cures. Yeah. Could you see the team, Greg? Nice to see you. See you. Great to Lovely see you. to see you. God. Thank you for coming. Well, no, thank you. And by the way, really going to make some hits with the nursing yes. dollars as well. Yeah. It's really I know incredible. we're not talking about workforce today, but... I know, no, but you know, the fact is, is that with the shortage of nurses that we have, and... Uh, Absolutely right. Uh, and it's, um, it, 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 it's, it's not for lack of people who want to exactly be nurses, right. it's because of faculty, and exactly. because we don't have That's trained right. people, and when you cut back those right. funds to train, students and so forth to right. do this, then our capacity is lessened. Right. It's crazy. And it's that's crazy. an NIH problem, too. That is an NIH problem, yeah. 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 It's a huge so, problem for us. Yeah. So, I'm so glad to see you. It's nice, nice to great. see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me you. Where, where, what you're working on. So I'm working on how the brain develops, how it connects. And just to explain it very briefly, in the human brain there are 100 billion cells. And basically, they have to connect like a computer, they have to connect into circuits. So I study how that happens, and I use a simpler system to answer those questions. So I use a, a small model organism, but with that, with that animal, we made a lot of insights that are of biomedical relevance. So uh, one of the examples is that we recently identified a gene that's uh, conserved, and, and in humans it causes the disease, and we did that with, with NIH IRA funds. The R of yeah. funds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> those those funds are actually ending soon. Yes, they are. So yeah, no. so um, so hopefully we can continue that work uh, with with more NIH funding in the future. So that that's what, so how, what if it, with the end of the R of funds, then what happens from there? Well, well we, have to, we have to, to uh, we have to we have to get other funding. Uh, we've been trying to get other funding, but the situation is so hard that mm -hmm. um, it's the the levels of the payline levels are so low mm -hmm. that uh, basically if we cannot secure funding that that, that research will just stop mm -hmm. and it will have it will have consequences to the to the findings that we've had because the investment that was made before won't come to fruition come to for fruition. human health right so we not only we then spend money to do something and then if we don't provide the additional funds to the NIH then in fact we have whatever the the wonders wasted. of this research yeah. then, in fact, have been have been have been stalled. wasted, have been stalled. Absolutely. Stalled. Let's not say wasted, but they've been stalled. Stalled. Yeah. The information is never wasted. Um, this project right now, as, as Daniel had pointed out, these funds are are uh, running out, and uh, the project's at real risk of continued support. I'm. I'm even this morning, uh, just before meeting you, I'm working on a grant revision uh, to get this uh, uh, funded. So. Um, but I think there's real risk because uh, it's, it's, uh, there just isn't enough money to go around right now. Well, I need your advocacy yep. along with ours to, uh, to make sure that the funds are there. Yep. 
have a particular interest in what you're doing as a cancer survivor. Yes, no, I know, I know. And yes. um, you know, the, the containment. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's critical. I, I um, you were going to say something. I interrupted you a moment ago when, you, when we were talking about the. I, Rebecca's work. Both Mark, Mark and Daniel yeah. are new faculty members, yeah. and Yale's put a big investment into getting them started, but mm -hmm. they need to have the NIH continue their fantastic work, the new leads that they have. Mm -hmm. you, you, make the, you make the case, and it's clear that the, uh, we've got real concerns about the funding of the NIH, and, uh, um, but I'm always an optimist that we can um, have more reasonable people uh, come to the conclusion that the value of the work that's done uh, here at Yale um, is, is so important and the investment in the research is so important uh, that we, we can prevail and make sure that we get the kinds of, of funding that's necessary. And I would just, I compliment Yale uh, and, and so proud to represent the institution because of um, the, 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 the quality of, of the, and the intellectual and the investigative and the scientific pursuit here has um, um, been able to garner 85% of, uh, you know, of the portfolio in federal research uh, for Yale comes through the NIH. And that doesn't come through uh, 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 the, uh, from, uh, from politics. It doesn't come through me. It comes through the, the, the genius, really, and the, and the creative of minds of the of the uh, of the folks who are here